day two Bassmaster Classic sitting in second place going into it but weights are extremely tight we don't have any type of really a cushion at all as far as staying in the top 10 or anything like that so we have to catch them again today we need to catch them for the next two days actually to try to win this thing but had a really good start you know it's kind of better than expected as far as my last three days of practice went but you know i feel like the fish are moving fast this time of year I'm trying to get ahead of them trying to get where i think they're coming don't know for sure if i am or if i just got forced and caught a couple big ones but we're gonna get out there today run around jump around try to catch a couple more idling on over I mean, I got a lucky big bite, but didn't get a big bite where I thought I was going to get one. Yeah. I put under my jersey. You give him the location? Yep. I'm Brian, too. I just got nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Roland Martin, ladies and gentlemen. Come on up here. A true living legend. All right. Day two of the Bassmaster Classic. Had 18 pounds yesterday, set in the second place. You know, today we got a little bit different conditions. We had a lot of wind yesterday. So today we're going to spend a good portion of the day kind of jumping around and trying to figure out exactly how the fish are positioned for today. Because I, I don't think it's going to fish exactly the same. And I feel like I've fished through a lot of my best areas. So we're going to have to keep expanding, keep jumping around, keep trying to find some new fish today. So this is day two of the Bassmaster Classic. On day one, it was kind of all about having a few good flurries. I had a early, I caught a couple good ones, and in the middle of the day, I caught a couple good ones, and then at the very end of the day, I caught a couple good ones. So it seemed like whenever you got around them, they were a little bit easier to get to bite. I just seemed to fish a lot of times where there weren't a lot of big fish around. So today we're gonna keep moving fast, keep moving to some new water, and hopefully have a couple more of those flurries today. We're taking off the forest, and it's just a couple go with all of them. Fishing spots before y'all. I don't feel like a lot of pressure. I ain't supposed to win. Good luck to all the anglers. So, if I catch them, it's just a bonus. Feel good, we gotta adjust. We're not on enough to win just yet, so we gotta find us some new ones today. This is spot. got it on such light line, I hate to swing them, you know? Oh, I missed him. Came back. Big and
Give me a little bit, dude. Yes, sir. Three and a half pounder right there. Three pounder anyways. Thank you. There's another one, another big one right there. Not even a bad one. I thought them were little bitty ones. I ain't even thrown at them. Nice job, man. That sounded like a big one. Thank you. I've been trying to catch big ones, hadn't wanted to really mess with those, but that one ain't that bad. Pound a quarter. Oh, it sees it too. Been looking at that big sucker all day. That's how you freaking do it right there, baby. I'm talking about a big one. One, two, three, four. Five. Dude, screw that. Give me a hug, dude. <laughs> dude, I've been looking. I told you they're five pounders, dude. That one right there was a four and a half or five, I think. The other one looked bigger than him. <whistles> oh, my God. You talking about... Dude, he's seen that sucker. Did you see him when he ate? When he seen it, he's seen it and he went... Oh yeah, he said, I'll take that one right there. Four, but he like a five something. <laughs> oh. We fishing day three now for a show. Chaha, we got a, a five and a four and three, like one pounders. So he seen that sucker and he was like, uh-huh, okay. Okay then. When you're ready, you wanna give us a little update? So we got over half the day left and we got two really, really good ones. I have one. I have two other that are like decent ones, maybe pound and a quarter, pound and a half, and I've got one small one. So I really need to cool twice. I still got over half the day left, but I'm pretty happy with how it's went. You know, on this lake, it's hard to catch a three pounder. Heck, most lakes in the country is hard to catch a three pounder, but we've got two of those bites today that are well over three. So if we can just keep up the pace and in the next half of the day, get two or three more of those, we'll, we'll have a good bag and we'll scare some people. That's what, 
that's what kind of the plan is. I've been kind of fishing some water I haven't fished before today, kind of get trying to get a feel for exactly where all these fish are because it's not it's not that easy to get a bite. That's what we was looking for. I don't know over this little secondary point, just figured I might as well look for a pile. Found one. <laughs> All right, we good. That no coal, finally. I didn't want to fish for these, but after that long, had to. Yeah. Sure did. Sure did. I can't tell. I don't know if this is my spot. I hope it is. We ain't that bad off. No, that's a, what is that? Just give me your game plan for the rest of the day. So I know I've only got like 53 minutes left to fish today, <clears throat> but I can tell by the way, I mean, I had enough bites today to have a really good bag, but it just feels like I'm getting less bites. So even though we've only got a little bit less than an hour, we got to go run some new water, try to locate another pattern or something. And hopefully we'll get lucky and land on and catch another good one this evening. And if we don't, I just have to at least try to do something, find some more fish for tomorrow because I know we're going to be sitting in contention. We probably won't be lead or nothing like that, but I think we'll be sitting in contention in order to win this tournament. But I don't think I can do it unless I go find some new ones. So with 53 minutes, we'll try to find some new ones. We've got a fella from Opelika, Alabama. Here comes Kyle Welcher. A calm, cool, and collected competitor, ladies and gentlemen. A former professional poker player. And man, what a streak he's got going here at Bass. Never gets rattled. Had 18 pounds, 13 ounces yesterday. Needs 10 pounds and 9 ounces to get inside the cut. 17-11 to take the lead. Eighteen thirteen yesterday. Today, looking for seventeen eleven. Seventeen pounds, ten ounces. He is in a two-way tie for the lead. Proven once again, he is stone cold. Kyle Welcher. Thirty-six pounds, seven ounces, and a two-way tie for the lead. Once again, another Academy Daily leader. Earlier 
in the way, and you weren't part of that, but Jason Christie said he did not want the lead. Well, you just helped him out there because you are in a two-way tie for Jason Chris with Jason Christie, five fish away from the biggest title in bass fishing, and calm, cool, and collected as you always are. Well, the job's not done. You know, like, this is a three-day tournament. There's only two down so far, and we've got the leader behind us who might come in and ruin the whole party. So, you know... Well, you got. You have to catch 15 bass to win this. I've caught 10 so far. We have to catch five more tomorrow, and they need to all be three pounders to have a shot at this thing. So we're not going out there and trying to catch a limit. We're going to go out there and we're going to try to fish to win. And if it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. This title, what would it mean to you? Well, I've had a I've had a very blessed, very fortunate career on the Lee Series. I've, I've you know had some good AOI finishes and stuff like that. But I don't have that win yet, like this right here. And and a lot of people don't have a win of the classic. But it, it would just be a huge kickstart, a big you know it'd be a kind of a staple for my career. So I'm I'd like to get a win for sure. And th this one would be awesome one to get. I can't wait to watch it go down. Let's hear it for Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. <laughs> 